At the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power station, about 4,000 people are working every day for decommissioning of the nuclear reactors. The working environment at the site has been dramatically improved. Thanks to the vigorous effort of workers, the cleaning of rubble and pavement throughout almost the entire area has prevented radioactive materials from scattering and rainwater from seeping into the ground. As a result, instead of protective clothing used right after the accident, workers are now able to work with general working clothes in about 96% of the site area. The dose rate at the site has also dropped dramatically. The introduction of shower rooms and measures such as the canteen renewal have enhanced workers' efficiency. Contaminated water management has made steady progress. The iron wall installed along the seashore has effectively reduced the risk of groundwater outflow to the sea, and as a result, the concentration of radioactive materials outside the port has been reduced to a sufficiently lower level than that of the WHO drinking water guidelines. In addition, a frozen soil wall and other countermeasures have prevented groundwater from flowing into the reactor buildings and has reduced the amount of contaminated water generated. Contaminated water has been treated by several facilities to retrieve almost all the radioactive materials. However, tritium, whose characteristics are similar to that of water, cannot be retrieved. Currently, the treated water, whose risk has been drastically reduced, have been stored in the tanks on site. Domestic and overseas nuclear facilities release tritium into the environment after sufficiently diluted. We are discussing how to deal with this treated water while taking the social impact into account. Preparation for spent fuel removal has been progressing in each unit. All spent fuel had been completely removed in Unit 4 by 2014. For Unit 3, a building cover was installed for spent fuel removal. Inspection of the inside of Unit 2 was conducted in July 2018 for future fuel removal. For Unit 1, remaining rubble is now being carefully removed. In a survey for debris retrieval, a wealth of brought important information was uncovered. In Unit 2, investigations by a remotely operated camera showed the reactor at cold shutdown state. Parts of deposits resembling pebbles or clay were found under the scaffolds, and it is considered that some of this might be fuel debris. In Unit 3, an underwater vehicle indicated the damage in various apparatuses and possibly solidified fuel debris located under the pressure vessel. Furthermore, a three-dimensional image reconstruction had clarified the relative positions of structures. By utilizing the results of these internal surveys, we are aiming to start the retrieval of fuel debris in 2021. By gathering and utilizing wisdom and intelligence from Japan and abroad, and by communicating with local communities, the government of Japan and TEPCO will continue joint efforts toward decommissioning with the highest priority for safety. Food products harvested in Fukushima undergo radioactivity check. Since April 2015, there has been no catch of marine products exceeding the standard limits set by the government. And the products are consumed all over the country, including Tokyo. Fruits harvested in Kingdom of Fruits Fukushima, rice and other agricultural products have been distributed in the market after the radioactivity checks. The lifting of import restrictions on food products from Fukushima have progressed steadily, and food exports from the prefecture have gradually been increasing. 
the air dose rate in Fukushima Prefecture has decreased to almost the same level as that in major cities in the world. Evacuation orders have been lifted in a phased manner. As the reopening of restaurants and infrastructure recovery progresses, people have gradually been returning. Fukushima is making steady progress in its reconstruction. For a bright future.